Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about basic troubleshooting of your radio systems in your airplane. Doesn't matter whether it's a NAV, a COM, or an ADF, but when you go to troubleshoot an aircraft system, it's not just the radios. When you're buying an airplane, a big watch out for is the guy who says, oh, and I had all the radios taken out and taken to an avionics shop, and they all tested out beautiful on the bench. That doesn't tell you anything about how they work in the airplane, and that's what we're going to talk about today, so stay tuned. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So if you've got a panel like this, an all new glass panel, you're probably not going to have to do any radio troubleshooting work. You're not going to have any problem because when you had your panel change, they put in all new coax, they put in all new connectors, they checked everything, so you've got a working system right out of the box. Well, we're going to really talk about legacy systems. If you've got an airplane and you've got comms, KX-155s, they all have BNC connectors on the back, they all use a coax, and they all have antennas somewhere on the airplane. And when that coax goes bad or a connector goes bad, you get a weak signal or no signal at all on receive and maybe a little bit on transmit. So let's take a look at how some of the tools that we use to troubleshoot this system. Now on the transmit side, one tool you can use is a frequency counter. This is a 12 digit counter. So when you hook it to the radio and you hit the transmit button, it'll tell you what the radio is transmitting on. If you're transmitting on 122.8, it should read 122.8000. There are adjustments from that, but they are crystal controlled and you won't probably be able to do them. It's more of an avionics shop, but for basic troubleshooting, just to make sure that your radio is transmitting on the correct frequency, that's where a frequency counter comes into play. And that's about the only time you use it on an airplane. Now here's a very useful tool is the SWR meter. It gives you the ratio of the wave going out of the radio, how much you're transmitting out and how much is being reflected back. A perfect radio is a one to one ratio. You have as much energy going out as you have coming back. But when you have a mismatch between the system and the antenna or impedance mismatches in cabling or connectors, the SWR will rise. So a unit like this will let you check the SWR. Uh, you can put BNC connectors on the end. Right here we have a um, an antenna analyzer that we can screw in and it gives us the field strength when you're transmitting. So you can set a circle around an airplane walk around it and get the field strength radiation pattern of that particular antenna and radio on the airplane. But the SWR can be used because you connect it by the radio, you can connect it midline, and you can connect it back by the antenna. Now it's not hard to connect because one end is clearly marked a transmitter and that goes for your RF source and the other is marked antenna and that's where the coax goes to the antenna that you're using on the airplane and then there's that little um, antenna analyzer so you can get feel strength when you go ahead and put it in and again a very useful I an item to have when you're troubleshooting a radio now this is back from the 60s and so when I was troubleshooting radios in the 70s and 80s this is what I used there is another instrument we'll talk about that in a minute now this is a bird watt meter and it does just what it says you hook it up to a piece of coax and it will tell you how much RF the radio is putting out so you can use this near the radio and you can also check it at the antenna line right before it goes to the antenna to see how much you're losing in the coax and connectors that's another troubleshooting tip for checking your coax and your connectors to get the best receive and transmit signal you have available now this is not a radio antenna, this is a satellite antenna, but it does have BNC connectors and it does show you that when you have cable you can hook that to your BNC connector and you can check it with any number of instruments. 
Now here's an instrument I didn't have back in the 80s and all. This is an antenna analyzer. It does not require a separate RF source. It has its own RF sources built in. So you don't have to power the radio and transmit or anything. You can connect it to the coax and it will read everything all the way to the antenna and Dan down by the antenna. Gives you both your impedance and your SWR. It also has a filter for sweeping the band so you can check the entire range of transmit as you do it. So like right here, we're hooking up the 144 megahertz antenna. We're going to tune it in. And as you can see, we have good SWR right there and we have a good impedance match. So you can very quickly troubleshoot an antenna system by using an antenna analyzer. You can find them usually with your EAA, find some ham radio operators. They will probably have it. This is not something most shops would carry for um, troubleshooting a radio system, but it is a very good instrument to have, and I use it a lot with my ham radio and in my airplanes. So now the other thing we're going to do is we can sweep the frequency and get an SWR read, but we can also check the other antenna on the on that antenna it has a two meter and a 70 centimeter antenna and as you can see here oh my swr is extremely high and my impedance is extremely high and the reason for that is is i'm testing it on 440 megahertz but i'm not hooked up to the right antenna port now when i get it on the right antenna port wow it's about 50 ohms and one to one swr so it's a good quick instrument to have to troubleshoot your radio systems in our aircraft, our aircraft use frequencies from 108 to about 135. Check them out. You can pull all the wiring out and check everything with these tools. You'll get a much better system. Now again, this is for legacy aircraft. You don't want to do this for a new airplane. But if you've got an older aircraft with older radios, you might want to check it because that coax is 40 years old. And you'll get to follow it through some interesting places in your airplane. You'll get to clean as you go and check everything when you're replacing the coax. You might even find crossed cables from the last time your airplane was painted. All in all, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day flying your Grumman. Oh, and we have a new video of the cats at the end of this video for you. And here's a little bit of the fun I get to see in the wee hours of night when I'm working. The cat's just scooting through the area.